anyway, let's get started here, Frothpunk. As it says here, technically, this is still a preview build here, although as far as I know, the... The, the, the tr all the game mechanics are in place. It's just that in the final version, there will be more than one scenario over here. The only scenario we have available currently is a new home, and then it says coming soon over there. So I think we'll go ahead and get this started. Uh, where did you send the message? Because the Twitch message system is deprecated. Well, I have, on my thing, I have a button that says send an email to all subscribers. Sometimes it takes a while to get there. Um, it, you should get a copy in your email as well as in the Twitch message system, but we'll see. Well, if that doesn't work, we'll do something else. Isn't Twitch messages getting removed? I don't know. It didn't complain about it when I went. But... We'll find out. If it doesn't work well, we'll do another thing. Anyway, for now, Frostpunk. You home. To preserve civilization from the chaos of its own downfall, we have fled to the end of the world. We will attempt to adapt to survive. Who will we become in the process? So, I don't remember that. I think there's more lore in-game or somewhere out of it, but it's like, people actually fled, like, north or something like that? Like, sort of unexpected to try to avoid this because, like, the huge megastorms, like, were, were coming in from, I think, the south and basically, like, wiping out England. So, I don't know if they're, like, they f how far north, where they are exactly, um, but we'll see. Message has been received on my email, nothing on Twitch. Okay, so you might just have to wait until it hits your email and do check your spam folders. So you can customize here as well to tweak the difficulties, but we'll leave everything on default. It seems to be okay. Let's go ahead and get it started. Scooch of a load time, then we'll get another pop-up. Remember, your people need to eat and sleep from time to time, as do you. Now, we'll see if there's, like, an optimal head position once we get in-game. I think here's going to be okay, but we'll see. Then just, like, random little loading tips over here. Why on earth get away from the cold? I know, but... I think there's like just a major weather shift or something. There's something weird. Something very weird happened. It's far north across the sea. Yeah, like across the sea to where is the question? Because there's still trees and stuff. So I mean, you're not the North Pole, clearly. Iceland, Greenland. I mean, there's not a whole lot of stuff there either. So I don't know. A new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the, reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst, now that the world as we know it has crumbled. So, we have to survive. Game looks so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Hopefully it all translates to, like, on, on the Steamify thing. Um, like, there's all these, like, screen effects. Like, your screen stays sort of frosty, especially as temperature shifts happen. Fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to the other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some cold to start the generator. So, I mean, you can do whatever you want in any kind of order you want over here. But there's sort of, like, a mini um, set of missions here to sort of, like, prompt you along in sort of a relatively reasonable order order so yeah we're here in what i had originally interpreted to be some sort of crater here um i don't think it's an actual crater because at some point you get to like mine the walls for wood so i think like the i think that's like what used to be a whole forest i think the world sort of just flash froze over and the only reason there's sort of an opening here is because this heat generator was working for a while so it sort of kept the ice at bay over here is effectively the way that this translated but yeah, i think at some point you can mine the walls like drill the walls to get more wood because you're like mining into a forest over there which is like what so it's minus 20 right now which is really good in this game uh in a few days the temperature is going to drop significantly two levels i think each level is 10 degrees so it'll drop to minus 40 um so yeah minus 20 i mean pfft. That's no, that's no problem. I've dealt with that kind of crap before. Okay, so, uh, yeah, here's here's our generator. Currently not active. We've got to feed it some coal, and it'll start to make some heat. Uh, we also have one stockpile building over here. We've got ourselves 80 total people. 50 of them are workers. 15 of them are engineers. And 15 of them are children, which are currently prohibited from work working. Oh, my God, it's been so long I forgot about that noise. <laughs> Darwin420, thank you very much for that tip. Uh, hey Quill, your videos and streams are the best. Just wanted to drop a bit to help with the whiskey. Well, thank you very much. I have to go and supply myself with some whiskey um, later on, probably after the stream. We got a couple of things here that we can use to help with the multiplayer, but um, yeah, there'll be some sort of a... Uh... Ooh, I have the stag's breath. It's a honey whiskey thing. Yeah, that'll go do fine when we get to the multiplayer. Anyway. So we got that. Currently, 80 people are homeless, which means they're going to start freezing to death. Uh, currently, no discontentment, because we just started. Hope is kind of... Eh. 
So we'll see if we can do a little bit better. So our first mission says stockpile some coal up to 200, activate the generator. So we got some little piles of debris around here. We got some wood crates, some steel wreckage. Uh, some more wood crates, and we've got some piles of coal exposed over here. Now, I think that's the closest coal patch. Yeah, um, I'll probably... Because you can build little gathering huts. I haven't, like, figured out if they're, like, better or worse or about the same or anything like that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go set some workers um, to this coal pile and maybe the other coal pile over here. So we'll get that going on. We're definitely going to need some woods, to, some wood to be able to build some buildings. So we'll send 15 workers to this wood pile. We'll need a little bit of steel as well. So we can do that. Now, I'm out of workers at this point. I've only got the five left, five 15. Um, I can start giving engineers over there. And I guess I'll do that as well. So there we go. We're full here. Now at this point, we've got these wood crates that I will need a lot of wood. But I don't really want to use the last of my engineers. We're going to need them for stuff. So what can we do? I think we're going to pass our first law here. And our first law is going to be to get children to go to work. We've got 15 kids around. We can't have them just, like, lying around doing nothing. That would be crazy. So, obviously, we're going to sign our first law is going to be to enable child labor. So, we're going to do that. And I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to send all 15 kids to go and work this um, wood pile over here and get that going. Uh, Lonely Loser, thank you very much for the, uh, contribution to the Whiskey and Chocolate Fund. Watch out! If you are alone and get too cold, you might become ice-olated. <laughs> Alright, we'll go ahead and unpause. We'll see the people go out here. If you haven't seen this before, it's gonna be amazing. Look at all the snow, and they're just gonna start, like, pushing their way through here and leaving little trails behind. But our children aren't used to working, they'll get hurt! Kids should be learning, not working. Well... Spoiler alert, we don't have any schools either, so, you know, deal with it. Now, we could build some little, uh, some little, um, wooden, like, roads, little paths out here to be able to, whoa, uh, walk there a little bit faster. We probably will want to do that. We'll also need some housing. I'm going to wait for an event to prompt me for some housing here. Thanks, 727, thank you very much. It's snowing here, so this game is perfect to watch. Stay warm, and let's be kind to the children. Man, I'm so happy I didn't play this game. Like, I remember playing the demo, it was in winter, and I was like, oh my god, I feel freaking cold playing this game. Luckily, it's warmed up a little bit. Even though I'm in a t-shirt, uh, I feel kind of comfortable playing the game. So, we're stockpiling the coal, which is good. We got the children out there working. Um, yeah, so we will get a quest to to build some housing soon, so I'll probably just wait until that happens, uh, because then you'll, you'll generate some hope by satisfying that. Uh, for now, they can just bring the goodies in, but I think I might go ahead and, and work on building up the street. Um, in fact, what we might do... What I'm going to do is, I'm going to figure out, so these tents here, they're not particularly warm, but they'll do. I'm going to build two there, and then I'm going to go and build the street sort of right next to that. And this might be a good place to build a little gathering hut over here. Boom. So it does take wood to build the, uh, the these little streets, but it's probably worthwhile. People move faster along it, and buildings as well really need to be connected to the streets to work better. You have children working in coal mines or factories or learning to be better. Will you have children working in coal mines or factories learning to be better? I don't know! We'll have to see. We'll have to talk to uh, to Twitch chat for some of those. Because some of the laws are decisions. You go one way or the other for some of these things. But look, look, I mean, I wish I could zoom in more. Look how, like, gorgeous this is with the snow and the trails. And everyone's all hunched over. Oh, and some of them have little lanterns on their chests. And they get, like, the little uh, fire barrels over here. So they're trying not to freeze as much. The temperature here is chilly. There's a risk of getting ill. There's going to be a risk of getting frostbite working in there right now. Uh, oh, yeah, Zynthia, for, yes, for StarCraft 2, I'm going to be playing on the Americas region. So make sure you're set up for that for the StarCraft 2 to join us later. So as usual, we do about three hours of single player and then about an hour of multiplayer. We'll play it by ear. And again, if the stream suddenly goes dead, it's because for some reason my computer likes to just die completely while playing Frostpunk for some reason. I think I've got the problem licked, but we'll see. Alright, so, now that we can zoom out, you can see some of these buildings are being built over here. That's by my idle engineers, and at night, everyone contributes. I have enough coal. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the generator, and this is a great effect. Um, oh, like that. Look at it melt the snow. So we're literally just using this to, to heat things right now. And maybe power stuff, I don't know. Then it, the game reminds me that, hey, maybe food's a good idea. Like, right, so it wants to build a hunter's hut or a hothouse. We don't have the hothouse tech yet. 
um, and then build a cookhouse to prepare meals. So I will build that next. Now under food, the cookhouse has a base heating level of one. That's basically its insulation, which is pretty low. The hunter's hut is a two. So the cookhouse, I will also jam up right up against the heater here. You can see the, the dashed area. That's the area that our generator is heating. So only the buildings that are in there will get some heating. So I'm going to go ahead and get the, uh, the cooking hut there. We've got different sizes for things too, which can make things a little bit awkward sometimes. Um, I'm going to build up a little bit of a road uh, in the back here, and I'm going to add the hunter's hut right behind here. So it doesn't need as much heating, so we'll get that going on there. Space management is going to be really tough later on. I don't know exactly like the ideal way to optimize placement of these things. We'll see how that goes, but for now, we're okay. Yeah, Brastone's PC turns off when playing Divinity Original Sin 2. I know! There's uh, something, and we have... Um, we both have, like, NVIDIA cards. I don't know if it's related to that. Otherwise, I don't think we have any similarities between our computers, especially since Barstone just rebuilt his. So he's got, like, the next-generation CPU, the next-generation motherboard, DDR4 RAM, and all that stuff, and he's still having those, like, weird problems. Well, actually, I don't know. Has he played Divinity since getting a new computer? Does he still have the same problem? I don't know. I guess tents in the inside ring, jobs outside. It depends. Different buildings have different insulation. Later on, we'll um, unlock better housing options as well. Um, bunk houses, I think they're called. They're a little bit more insulated. There's also going to be other heating options we get uh, once we unlock the ability to do some research. So I'm going to go and fast forward for a scooch now. You can look at the resources up top over here. Um, this is raw food that we've got right now, and we'll be looking to cook that. In fact, one of the first laws uh, I will pass after the ch child labor will be um, uh, probably soup, so our rations go a little further. So we've got basic resources. Now we're being reminded that we should build a bacon a beacon, scout the frost land, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible, because we got separated. We'll need workshops to design plans for more advanced buildings. Roger, roger. Okay, because we've got our hunter's hut over here. Now, what I'm going to do is um, one of these coal piles, I'm going to bring back the workers out of that, and I'm going to get the hunter's hut here. I'm filling it with 15 people. They're going to go out and get some raw food for me. And as far as the children, the children can work in the cookhouse. So I'm going to go and get five children working there, and then the rest I'm just going to go and tell them to come back out here and collect some more wood crates. Um, we still have the five engineers. Right, so we need a workshop, which will let us start doing research. So that's under tech. Workshop, you can see its heating level is two. So again, I'll put it sort of one ring out for now. That's going to be all right. And then we'll be putting some engineers in there. Have you decided what path to take food-wise? I don't! We, we'll have to do some, I don't know, some straw poles or something. Band child cooks. No, man. They gotta go to work. Hey, James! Thank you very much! You've tried for the king? No! What are hunters hunt in a world like this? Humans? Well, I mean, there might be some log pig at, at some point, but... I think this is our hunting party over here. Yeah. There we go. Going to hunt. So they're gonna leave our little protected area and come back with some raw meat. Meanwhile, our raw meat here is waiting to be converted into food rations. So the cookhouse by default makes four food rations from two raw food. But we're about to be able to pass a new law. There's always a cooldown here. And one of those will change that. Oh, we've got a first person who is sick. So we should really look to do something about that if we can. A medical post over here. So can treat five people at once. It only has base heating level of one. So we'll go and get it in the inner ring so it's a little bit more insulated. I'm still waiting for a first little pop-up event to ask me for more houses so that I can go and satisfy that. I mean, maybe it makes no difference whether or not we satisfy it. Some people have a lack of shelter. There's a controversial law. Okay, we can introduce a new law over here. So in the Book of Laws, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some soup. Well, we've got a couple options. We can either pass a law that will make soup, which is, means we are watering down the meals, so they're not quite as good. This will, hope will fall slightly, discontent will rise slightly, eating soup will cause discontent, but we'll get a lot more bang for our buck. We could also go with food additives, where it will still drop hope and increase discontent. Instead of getting discontent when you eat soup, uh, people eating sawdust meals will fall ill, so we might not want to do that. Um, so we're going to go with soup. Right now the only path is adaptation, but we will be unlocking more various books of laws and more options down the road. This is very early on. So I like to go with soup, and it should by default, yeah, go to soup here. So you see we get five food rations from two raw food. So we get, um, we get slightly more. You know, we get 25% more food. I hate soup! Well, starvation sucks more, so... 
There we go. But soup is delicious. Go more benevolent. The added difficulty is fun. Is it more difficult to go benevolent? Interesting. All right, so we've got a workshop over here. We've got some people. We need to add our research, so we're going to start our first research. Here's a tech tree. We've got four different categories over here. Right now, we can only do the base tier one until we go and unlock higher tier research over here, which requires uh, material. Um, our pr Probably our earliest priority is to build, is to research the beacon over here. Um, oh, we actually need some engineers there as well. Um, because research goal not set. What are you talking about? There we go. Um, is because, I mean, we're being reminded here that we need that. And there's a lot we can do by starting to explore the world. Go, hunters, go! No, <laughs> not sawdust. Additives. You know, what the other health industry try to sell you. That's right. And it may, really, our soup is, um, it's homeopathic soup because it's so watered down and diluted at this point that it's just, it works like homeopathy. Which means it doesn't work, which is why people are so miserable. Excuse me. There we go. Had a bit of the sniffles. Um, started Thursday during the plane ride, and I thought, oh god, I'm gonna get real, real sick. I don't think I'm actually gonna get sick. I think I'm, I'm gonna be okay, but I've got some leftover sniffles from that, so I apologize. You could always eat snow. I know I have two sick people, but we are currently building the medical post. There you go. It's only going to be constructed during free time because right now I don't have any um, excess workers. But it's going to be done soon. We'll get our sick people in there. I'm still waiting for people to ask for more shelters. I really should just do it soon, even if I don't get asked for it. It's just if you get asked for it and you satisfy it, then they get happy because you satisfied a promise. So we'll see. So Quill should have soup in real life to help the sniffles. Yeah, maybe. All right, we've got a medical post over here. We need some more engineers, and so I'm going to take the engineers away from the work on the steel wreckage over here. Get you here. That's going to be fine. Um, I, I suppose I could put some of the engineers back. If there's going to be anywhere, I'm going to actually put them on the wood crates. Wood is a little bit more important early on. So you can build a little gathering post near these little things here if you don't want to sort of micromanage all these little bits. The gathering post will gather from miscellaneous things within its radius. I don't know if it's any faster or not. I think it's a little warmer. People are a little bit more comfortable than, say, working outside. In particular, when we get the massive temperature drop over here, it might be that much more important, but I don't know. Dun, dun, dun. Do the hunters go out the same way each time? I don't know! So maybe you could speed it up with the road. It just says that they return with 15 food every day, so I don't know if it really matters where it is. Um, but yeah, like, there's a big pile of stuff over here. This might be a good place to put down a um, gathering hut. And once they're done gathering resources, we can put a coal thumper um, in near that area to make it keep working. About road to the other mine. Yeah, all the code little coal patches over here, it's probably a decent idea. So, just to figure out maybe the best lineup, we're going to have... Eh, you know what? I think we can probably do something like this, at least. It's probably a little faster. And just for pathing... I don't need a road here. I can build houses and then build roads, or, or buildings or something, and build a road behind it. That'll be okay. So we'll just do that for now. Okay, right, we'll go and kick up the speed for a little bit. There we go, finally. Okay, family torn apart. Ah, she's complaining because her husband and daughter were in the other excavation. We're going to have to look for them soon. And then over here, oh, a child was injured at work. So, we can either say, suck it up and deal, or we can give this kid a day off. This child won't work for 24 hours, but hope will rise slightly. I'm going to go ahead and give the, day, the kid a day off. A little hope is good. Main object is fulfilled, desirable conditions. Still some lack of shelter, and people are going to get sick from not having shelters here. I'm surprised we didn't get the pop-up. I should probably just get started on housing. Beacon researched. Alright, we can start a new um, research here. Faster gathering might be good. We've got the coal thumper, which drives coal up to the surface. 
Um, we've got a sawmill, which lets us work. There's some extra other trees, like just, they're not crates that we can just break apart. So we need a sawmill for it. There's a steel work, which lets us do a little bit of mining. We can upgrade the hunter's gear so that they get more raw food per hunt, which is probably what I'm going to do. We will need the steam hub and probably the heaters later to uh, uh, support, you know, a little bit more warmth. But I actually think I'm going to go with the hunter's gear to start off with here. And yeah, I'm going to go and build some more tents. And I will build them on this inner, inner ring so that the people... Um, have a reduced chance of falling ill. Oh, that's going to be it for the space. I think we're going to need some more housing soon, too, but we'll get started on that. So some of them will be on the outer ring. Um, we'll see how that goes. Lost an arm? Ah, that's why you have two. Get back to work. <laughs> nice. Uh, cookhouse isn't working right now um, because we don't have any more raw food. Well, we have a little bit. We need two per, though. So I could go and do something like take the children out of the cookhouse for a bit. And then put them to work, you know, collecting something else. Mostly need wood early on. There we go. We'll do something like that. Mm -hmm. You get the pop out for the houses when you pull in the first survivors for your beacon. Really? Okay. Well, no, 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 because it can definitely pop up beforehand. I think it pops up basically whenever people don't have enough housing. I might be wrong though. Um, did I actually queue up the beacon? I don't think I did, did I? I did the ha more housing. Now, the beacon doesn't actually require people, so it can be quite far away from any kind of, like, heating. Um, probably back here is fine. Okay, some wood crates were just depleted, so we got some extra people again. Uh, do we have more wood crates? Yeah, way over here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I will build a gathering hut over here. Let me extend this road out this way. And um, resources, gathering post. So it'll collect from things within the radius here. How are you not adjacent to the street? Oh, there you go. Um, I don't know. Like, again, I don't know if it does it faster or slower or better or warmer or whatever. Uh, but we'll do that. It'll collect from these things. Then, yeah, we'll probably build some coal thumpers over there for later. A bit more long term. Don't have any food yet, so I haven't put anyone there. I think I'll probably, what I'll do is I'm not going to assign the people, because um, these workers will actually help with the construction. You say it looks like a pretty chill screen. stream. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm creating these gaps, and it's not going to be, it's not going to make me very happy uh, later on, but I guess we'll deal with that when we get there. Beacon has been built. We're no longer lost and blind. And I love it. It's like, again, it's frost punk, like steampunk, so of course... We need a hot air balloon. How accurate is this game to your daily life on Canada? Um, well, it, it, I haven't seen any dog sled teams, so... I mean, how else do you get to the corner store if you don't have a dog sled team? So, you know, there needs to be a little bit more going to it. Um, boom. Uh, got a couple of tips coming in, including, like, actual advice here from Dark Complex. Um, uh, Dark Complex, no, I haven't been up to date on the RimWorld stuff yet, uh, because it was all pre-recorded, but I'll get to it soon. Have you read any comments in RimWorld videos about how the fertilizer is less, lesser version of your tiled soil mod? So, no, that's good to know. Thank you very much. Um, always, always it's better to, to send a tweet at me or something like that for that thing, because the, the YouTube comments I mostly ignore these days, and for a long time, because... It's not a good place to have conversations. Keep thinking about just turning them off completely, like a lot of other people have done. Crimson Backstage, thank you as well. Hey, man, are you getting the Foundation Alpha? Much love. I don't know. Change my name from Team Fury Fires. Ah, I see. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's do a quick little save here. I think it auto-saves. Here. But let's just do that in case we get a crash. So, anyway, um, I have a... Uh... Oh, I need, I need uh, 40 wood to make a scout team. But now we can take a look at the world at large. So we just need to get some wood coming in again, and then we'll set that up. And we'll be able to get wood here soon once this uh, forms up. And yeah, it looks like a hunting team did use this path to walk out maybe a little faster here. So that's good to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> YouTube comments are a wretched hive scum and villainy. That's true. It's because the nature of it makes i mean all online discussions can be kind of rough but the nature of it makes it really hard to have a functional conversation there's no true like ability to up and down vote like you can upvote down votes do nothing so crappy comments stay near the top hello what do you want ready to search i know we need a win we're working on it 
Okay, so this, um... What do I have to tell you? What to gather? No, okay. You'll gather steel and wood, because that's within radius. Excellent. So ten people, which is less than you need to put on a particular thingy-mabob. So yeah, I don't know the balance of the gathering post. But it does keep people a little bit warmer while they work, so it's probably a good thing. And uh, So I need 40 wood, but that's hopefully going to come in soon. Steel wreckage, wood crates has got workers there for now. I'm tempted to just throw a few more people into the wood crates job just to get it to speed up a scooch. That's probably a good idea. Of course, right now it's nighttime, free time, 2, 2 a.m. Still have some homeless people. No one working here right now, but that's okay. Protective mother. A mother has refused to let her daughter go to work. Afraid she'll get injured. We could look the other way this time, but others might see it as unfair. So I could let a child go for 24 hours without working. Hope will rise slightly. Or I can say we won't make an exception. What do you think about this? This is different from someone being injured and us, us doing it. You know, letting them be. What do we think about this? Do we let her have a day off? Keep increasing hope? Back to the salt mines. No exceptions. See, you let one child have the day off. Wow, everyone's like, no exceptions. You guys are mean. I love it. <laughs> no exceptions. And yeah, we have bad food. Alright, kick up the speed. Wait for the workday to start. And get real cold soon. Getting some food in, some wood in. We did spend a fair amount of uh, wood making these little paths, but it is, you know, good overall. Sick absence over here. Wood pile depleted. So that one's clear. Uh, what I'll do is I'll send a few more people... Um, and by people, I mean children, to work this. And we are... There we go. There's our 40. So now we can make a scout team. It's going to take five of our workers and 40 wood. But now we have a scout team, and we can send them out places. Right now, there's the Lost Expedition. And it's got a yellow dot there because I believe, yeah, this is people from our convoy. I believe this is the main plot. So I'm going to go ahead and advance that. Rescue Survivors, the Lost Expedition. So I'm going to send our scout team there. It'll take them 10 hours, 49 minutes to reach here. And then we'll get something else to happen. No work, no soup. <laughs> All right. So people are doing this. Now we could pull some people out. Oh, we've got some raw food again. Although we're not short on rations yet. But one, two, three, four, five. I'm taking ten children and I'm going to put them back into the kitchen. Over here. There we go. At least it's nice and warm over there. Oh, we still have some extra people around. Hunter's gear research. Excellent! So they're going to bring more meat per trip, which I think is going to be good. I suspect we'll need a second meat generator soon. We'll see. Uh, we could spend... Well, we don't have the wood, but we could use 50 wood to unlock drawing boards, and then we'd have access to, like, hot houses to grow things, but I guess we'll wait. There's faster gathering. There's the ability to unlock the coal thumper, the sawmill. Um, part of me thinks we should unlock the sawmill sooner rather than later, because running out of wood is really annoying. I mean, we need the heaters, and there's going to be a big cold th thing soon. But I kind of want to get the sawmill going. So I'm going to research that. Because we're getting these wood crates. I'm not sure, other than these two packs of wood crates, I'm not sure there are more of them around. So then we've got the just the, the, the logs here, the frozen trees, but we need a sawmill for that. I don't know if we still have a lot of wood to gather. I mean, you know, a few, you know, a couple hundred units or something. It's not bad, but... That's coal, 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 steel wreckage. Yeah, I think that might be that. Heater, sawmill, then coal thumper. It's also possible. Yeah, it's about to get a lot colder. All right, we're out of raw food again. I d I'm not going to keep dancing here with the cookhouse back and forth. I don't know. Maybe a little bit more. Here. Go help collect some wood. Because early on, it does feel like wood is the thing that you struggle uh, with the most. Harvest the children. Oh, I can adopt a new law. That's right. So what should we go with for a new law? I mean, we could unlock more child labor so that they work every kind of job. Or we can take a different d direction here. I think we need some sort of um, extra building to allow children to become uh, medical apprentices and engineers apprentices, which I think is going to be a little bit better for us. 
Um, we don't have any dead bodies yet, so we don't have to deal with the cemetery and corpse disposal. Radical treatment becomes important, or, or sustained life, when uh, we get people who get, um, like, really bad frostbite and maybe need amputations. We can unlock the fighting arena. Fighting arena keeps um, discontent down, which is nice. May as well do this. So this, we will have to build the fighting arena, but yeah, fighting arena, um, evening bouts reduce discontentment. We can use that to counteract... The, we don't need saw, we, sawdust, it was a choice. Soup or sawdust. So we can use this to counteract the um, discontent that we're getting from eating soup. I think that's good. Thunderdome! There you go. So we'll build this, and if I recall, Fighting Arena doesn't have any particular temperature requirements as far as I know. It's just a thing that exists. So I'm going to go and um, stick it out here with this. Probably an area we're not looking to heat long term. So that's going to be fine. So we still good on food right now. Actually, we're close. This red bar, this is our uh, our storage capacity. So we're actually almost full on our food rations. Do, 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 do. Oh, princesses are disabled if you have children working. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So, fighting arena has been established in accordance to the new law. Hope rises. And then we get cool comments in a second, I think. Maybe it's because I played it before. Maybe I could like reset the game. Maybe we don't get the same feedback. I don't know. You have a radius? Oh, wait, what? Oh! People within a radius of this find distraction. So we actually want to build near this. Oh, that's kind of... Not what I realized. <laughs> People fighting. <laughs> that is not what I realized. Oh well. So what we can do is we can maybe build houses over here and get some heating. I think the beacon then is kind of not well placed. I don't know. Deconstruct, I suppose. We won't get all of it back. I mean, yeah, hmm. So we kind of want an area that's going to be centered around the heater. And have the arena there and then build around it to keep the discontent low. Okay. Yeah, winter is coming. It's about to get real freaking cold. Oh, um, our expedition is waiting here with survivors. Um, we can escort the survivors to the city or send them, just send them there. I can't get back to the map. I'm going to escort them because what we're going to want to do is from the city, we'll want to leave in the other direction at that point and check out these. I mean, we could have just sent them home on their own. Some of them might have died and then continue to go forward. But I think at this point, escorting them is a-okay. So it's going to be... Uh, 22 workers, 9 engineers, and 4 more children. And yeah, we can deconstruct. I probably will then, right now. And plan the new area. So what I'm thinking is we're going to plan a new housing area over here. With the idea that there'll be a heater, um, a subheater or whatever it's called, right around here with the fighting arena nearby. So, let's get another row of tents here. Gonna use up all my wood. Or I need more housing as people come back anyway. We do have one steam core available. Just the one, but we'll be able to get one extra subheating. And yeah, actually, we may not. We Just getting plus one range means these buildings will be within range of uh, this heater. So. I think the idea of sort of developing housing in this general area is gonna be okay. Uh, everyone's alive. So far they are. Tons of food. Although, we're going to be hammered for food a lot as people arrive. Actually, we've got a lot of idle workers right now. Do I have... There we go. Scouts have returned. First, let me get the... Let me watch the cutscene. The steam hubs do not use steam cores anymore, I think. It does what it seems like, yeah. Tom Tom 7, the later game, they do. People from our convoy, reunions. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. We will look for the others. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to find a lot of other people. So, um... We got a crash site over there? Let's start with the crash site and see what's here. Several wrecked vehicles. Hmm. Maybe we can find some supplies there. Sounds grand. Okay, so we'll get... Uh, not engineers... We'll get the children working back in the kitchen. That's going to be fine. Search for others. Yes. Um, that was demolished. Excellent. So, 
yeah, we need the tech to get, like, the extra range or more heating on the steam. Sawmill's coming in soon. Housing, housing, housing. So cold. Better not go outside. So that's minus 40. That is pretty darn cold. If we go to the heating overview, we can actually see that even here, things are, like, cold and chilly near the heater. So what I'm going to do temporarily, we're going to put this into overdrive, which I don't think even uses more coal. It just... Uh, add stress, and if you hit it 100%, the generator explodes, and you're you're just doomed. So, that seems pretty bad. Sawmills researched. Excellent. So, I still think we can live without the coal thumper, because we still have some stuff on the surface, which is good. I think what we're going to do is, we're going to look at the steam hub over here. They do use quite a bit more coal, and they don't have the same range as... Um, the main heater, but it'll do okay. Uh, so this fighting arena, yeah, there's the radius I can see now. So if I built it here, it's going to cover a fair number of buildings. Are these both tents? No, that's a medical post, and that's a stockpile, so we don't need to cover those. So I am going to build it out here with the idea, there we go, something like that. Um, does that fit another tent? I think so. Let's just make sure. Oh, I can't build this the thing now. Double ration for kids! Here's a question for y'all. In the wake of recent child workers' accidents, parents argue that we could give working children double rations to make them stronger and help prevent injuries. So, do we give ch working children double ration? It'll raise hope. Or say, no, we can't afford it. The coal gets a lot worse minus 40. Yes, it does. And everyone's overwhelmingly on the no side. Y'all don't like it. half rations for kids. You know, they're small. They don't need as much food. <laughs> Absolutely not, says Gillian. I mean, some people say yes. I mean, we could do straw polls if there's enough of this. Nope, we can't afford it. And honestly, we don't have much in the way of food, so... I think that's semi-legit. Uh, fighting arena. Yeah, so that'll fit in nicely there. So we'll get a little less discontentment in this area. You have plenty of food right now, starve them later. I don't know, yeah, I don't know if you can change those things once you've made a decision. 1.5 rations if it was an option, since not, no extra. Yeah, twice as much is a lot more. Boom. We still technically have five people without houses. Mild frostbite. One of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite. This will keep happening if people have to work in the cold. So, we will consider signing a law to make a change here. So, we've got radical treatment, which means we will... Amputate people. 30% of gravely ill people treated medical posts will be left as amputees. Hope will rise slightly, though, because the gravely ill can be treated. Alternatively, we can just sustain life. Gravely will be kept alive, but untreated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. I think we go with, like, amputations. Because it's totally radical! Um, also, this will give us people to, um, to give prostheses to later on. Prosthetics. Which we can totally do. However, I can't change the laws yet, so hopefully you guys will... Or remind me to do that. But yeah, it's super cold right now. So there's going to be a lot of those problems. We've got tons of extra workers. We do have the sawmill tech. So I kind of feel like it's probably a good idea to get going there. Now, placing this is... I think you just want to place it near a bunch of these trees. Now, we are going to need a road sort of here behind these houses because this row this building is next to a road but if we built a, a tent next to it it wouldn't be so we're gonna need something that goes here um and i can actually foresee us building something like that because it's going to be out of sync so why don't we just extend this road out to here say and then get our sawmill um and try to build it as we'll destroy resource sources so do we build it here or do we build on top of the... I guess we build it adjacent so that we don't stop on the wood. And then when that wood gets depleted, assuming that's a thing that happens, we will then go and disassemble this building. I mean, so we may not be fitting things... I think there'll be a little gap here with the road. But I think that's okay in this case. So we don't have any raw food, but we've got plenty of food stored. Well, plenty. Plenty enough for now. I will get another tent in here. Oh, 
wood crates depleted. So yeah, we have a lot of idle workers. I kind of want to go make them go out and grab these coal piles, but then we're going to get a lot more illness if we send them out way over here. So we might not want to. Um, we do have a medical center. Yeah, medical post over here. Can fit five people. We only have two sick... Ah, uh, one sick, one gravely. Is that two sick? No, it's one sick and that person is gravely ill. Okay. Wasn't sure how it listed it. Steam Hub just finished. I'm also going to get heaters, which is something you can enable at work spots. So with the Steam Hub... It does burn a fair amount of coal, but it gives us larger heating radius. Now, we're not strictly going to need it here later because this radius will grow, but we're a little far away from that. Now, you don't need it to be fully covered. You can see, if I do this, those houses, the area around it sort of lights up on the ground. Right there. So that means they'll be covered here. I think it's probably worth doing this for now. Maybe we'll tear it apart later when we get the range increase on our main generator. I think we do need a second hunting post, and actually that's going to be a great way to keep people busy. Um, we're going to need a little bit more wood to come in, but yeah. Do, do, do. Let's speed things up a bit. There we go. No more homeless. Although not par particularly hot right now. This is still on overload. We're learning about area effects. We don't need these tutorials. Like, It's actually pretty good. Like, There's tons of contextual tutorials that open up, which is handy. There we go. So now, and again, I love watching the snow melt. And you get to choose whether this should only be on during work hours or 24 hours. This one will need to be on 24 hours because it's heating houses and whatnot. And actually, it's not hot enough to completely melt the snow. If we take a look at this tent, it's livable, but not comfortable. So there's still a risk of getting ill, but it shouldn't be too, too bad. Around the hunters are cold rather than cool. Yeah, I mean, that's... These workshops are chilly. Sawmill is cold. Um, although no one's working here right now. I will go ahead and send them. How come it's... Were you actually getting a note about that? Oh, and you don't have any raw food yet. Um, Hunter's Hut. So again, you have a little bit of insulation. I think what I'm going to do is build it right back here. Because that should be okay. We don't need a road between here. We'll just build a road on the far side later. It's got some natural insulation. It'll need a heating boost later, but for now that's going to be okay. And we'll get more raw food, because our, our food rations are going down. Because we've got a lot more mouths to feed. Need more coal? Yeah, you are right. So, we're going to have to send uh, some people out to these coal piles. How are we doing over here? <laughs> 17 hours left. Scouts have reached crash site. So, search might provide f wood and raw food. So our expedition split up, or our vehicles crashed in the snowstorm, some of our precious supplies should still be here. Fate of the Forgotten. There is plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of our expedition. Searching among the crates, scattered in the snow behind the wrecks, we find the bodies. They're tangled together in a single frozen mass, as if these people were trying to find at least a bit of warmth just before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. So we get some wood, and we get some food. Um, and... I think I will send you right back to the city. You're not too far away. Often I I, I, I think I'll, I'll prefer to path them a little bit differently just to be a little bit more time efficient, but I think it's actually going to be a really nice boost to get that back as soon as possible. Uh, we're going to need some more workers available for this hunter's hut. Worship the almighty cool god. So uh, how are we doing on the overdrive? <laughs> Temperature's a little way away from rising yet. We got three people ill, one gravely. Oh, uh, okay. We're half an hour away from passing you law. Excellent. Do, 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 and done. So, uh, totally radical treatment. I mean, we've got to save these people. Yeah, some of them will be left as amputees, but we got to do what we got to do. Alright, being treated in medical posts despite the risks. It may make sense, but that doesn't make it any less cruel. At least we'll be saving lives. That's the spirit. Yeah, we're using up a lot more coal now that we've got this thing. Uh, 
I guess, oh, it takes a while to register the coal change, because it was six. Uh, no, I think it's just including the three from uh, the Steam Hub, I just realized. Okay. I think I gotta turn off the overdrive before I forget and everything goes to crap. So we got some people going out here to collect from a few more coal piles. Um, what do we have? We have some children available. There's another coal pile over here. Kids! Get out there! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, still collecting this stuff. Sawmilling. Scouts have returned, bringing wood and much needed raw food. So, now we can either send them to Sturdy's Shelter, which is per continuation of the main quest, or the observatory, which may lead to more stuff. Um, I kind of don't want more survivors, is part of it right now, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll go here. Sturdy Shelter. Who knows what kind of good stuff we might find there. Oh, right! We need more people working here. Um, we're gonna take all these workers away and put them in the Hunter's Hut, and then the excess workers, and hell, the excess engineers, we're gonna go and send them out there for now, too. We've only got two people that are sick, none of them gravely. Oh, we're up to five all of a sudden. More frostbite. Yay! Get a robot, I know. Is it a robot? Isn't that the observatory, right? Somewhere else? Mm. Heater's research. Awesome. Okay. So... We will need the coal thumper sooner rather than later, but I don't know if we need it now. I mean, we could just go up to the next level. I don't know. We'll get the coal thumper. It's going to be fine. So all this does, you need people to work here, but yeah, by pumping pressurized water into the underground coal deposits, the coal thumper washes the precious resources to the surface, forming a pile of up to 560 coal per standard workday. That's enough for two gathering posts. So that's the idea. The, the gathering post that's here, at some point it's going to... Is it there at the gathering post? No. Wherever it is. Here. Uh, the gathering post that's here, at some point it'll run out of resources. I'm thinking I'll build a second one next to it, and then put the... Um, the coal thumper on the other side over here, maybe get some localized heating that's only set to work during the workday, for example. Then we'll get a constant source of coal that should last us for a fairly decent amount of time. Only five six, so we're good on medical things. If we go above five, we'll need to build another medical bay. Luckily, the, the paralyzing cold is going away soon. Well, it's only going to rise but one level, so it'll be minus 30 instead of minus 40. Still, though. Something. <laughs> Everyone's getting frostbite. Stop chewing on ice, people! We have food! And we won't have that much food, and it's pretty weak food. So, I guess I can't blame them too much. So, everyone's at work, which is nice. Got a lot of wood right now. Everyone's housed. Tech is teching. Not really anything for us to do. I mean, everyone's busy. Now, some of them are temporary jobs, because at some point those um, deposits will, will go away. Oh, 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 look. Six going up a lot. Yeah, I think... I, I'm pretty sure we're going to need another medical post at some point, regardless. So, I'm going to get it built within the radius of this heater. Because it has such weak insulation. Oh, pick a law. Thank you very much. That's come up. So, we could have extra rations for the ill, which is actually fairly good. It helps them heal a lot faster. I mean, we could just overcrowd the... Um, uh, the medical things fully utilized even if we put patients on the floor double capacity which is nice cause of discontent uh we got the care houses which is somewhere the gravely ill are kept alive in care houses and no longer burden the medical posts residents of care houses eat half as much hope will rise slightly it's also really good dueling's a nice thing too uh dueling helps to reduce discontent although every night again someone does die from it Overcrowding will keep them warm. <laughs> we can get pubs going on. Patrons of the pub will become less discontented and can lead to other things. House of Pleasure and Moonshine. Um, no extra rations. They'll get sick to get food. I don't know. I think I think extra rations for the ill is going to be good. Just we'll cheat. It'll cycle the people who are ill a lot faster, put them back to work. I think it's worth doing. Now, we did unlock the, um, the the local heaters, so what I'm going to do for some of these works, like way over here, this gathering post is super cold. So I'm going to enable the heater. So during work shifts, so not at night, but during the work shifts, it'll burn one coal per hour, but it'll increase the, um, the heat, which will be nice. Um, probably do the same thing in the sawmill. 
Hunter's Hut doesn't matter. Um, the workshop, yeah, probably. And we'll, we'll maybe have to revisit some of these things as some of the temperatures change. This cookhouse, because we're not overpowering this, is kind of bad right now. But um, the temperature is about to improve. We may not have to worry as much about the cookhouse settings. We'll reevaluate it. Might want to build four new storage yards right near the wall of the crater. Yeah, I mean, our storage capacity is fine now, but I know that you can hit the limit and that it's actually going to be important to be able to open up a lot more. Uh, where are we missing people? Oh, that's for the construction. We don't have any spare people for that. Again, I think they'll, they'll help do it in the spare time. There's like... Is there somewhere you can go to see the schedule or something? I thought there was. Oh, question mark. First amputation! To save this patient's life, we had to perform an amputation. As a result, this person won't be able to work. We must do something about it. Consider signing the care house or prosthetics law. I see. Well, we'll try to do something about it, but we can't do it right now because we just signed another law. <laughs> Dwarves might need a pub. Three hours until something happens there. No workers right now. Everything is solid for now. There you go. It's not quite as dire cold. So let's take a quick little gander here. Workshop is livable, although I think part of it is because of the heat. Cookhouse is livable. Now, livable is... Oh, you can toggle it just by clicking. Oh! That's so handy! I didn't realize I can toggle the heat on and off this way. Okay. Workshop is comfortable. I could consider turning it off. But, you know, that stops them from getting ill. That includes our engineers. We have a limited pool, a more limited pool of engineers. We may not want to go and steal from that. Um, speaking of, we've got some engineers working way out here. I'd rather them not get as much frostbite. So I might actually keep the engineers idle. Plus, if they're not doing anything, they can help just build buildings. So we've got the second medical bay, which means, actually, we've got one person not currently being treated. But hopefully we can turn it around. Oh, do I have to enable this? Oh, it's, a, it's an ability with a cooldown. It costs 10 rations, given to patients to speed up the recovery. So it's not always happening. Huh. Alright. Interesting. Mm, amputees. You have two arms and two legs. If one is cut off, you're still expected to work at 75% efficiency. <laughs> Your cold just work harder. That's true. All right, our sturdy shelter over here. This shelter is well supplied and built to withstand even the worst weather. An advanced steam heating system protects it from the cold. We are going to get stuff. The shelter is comfortable and well equipped with emergency supplies. There's notice posted by the heavy round door. To all scientists, if you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This means there's another city out there. A signpost by the trail points in two directions. London, 1,934 miles. Home. 27 miles. Site discovered. Steel bridge. So you're going to get wood, food, and a new steam core. I'm going to take these resources. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk directly to the steel bridge rather than turn around and go home with these supplies. I'm going to follow the path to the steel bridge. Maybe we can uh, escort more survivors home while we deliver things. Coal thumper research. Steel wreckage uh, deposit uh, goes away. Um, we have some steel, but we may need to unlock the steel works, and then we'll probably go down to draw, uh, um, drawing boards. So, this is still okay currently, although, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build the second gathering hut over here. Gather these resources a little faster, and actually this area looks like it's empty. This is one of the deposits that finished. So, I think I will go and build this, the coal thumper over here. I guess, we, yeah, we'll just keep it lined up like that for the road. Whether or not we can fit in the appropriate number of buildings over here, we'll have to see. Post-apocalyptic Ice Age game? Yeah! It really is. That's that's really the right description. Um, so these buildings are a little colder. They're currently being heated. There's going to be three of them, and rather than run heaters in each one of them, what I'll probably do is build another subheater. Although, at some point, this one can really be moved. One, because we'll get the plus one range on our center gener central generator. And two, at some point, we'll actually increase the range on these subheaters as well. I guess for now, rather than build another one, which takes three coal per hour, we'll just turn on the heaters in these buildings, which takes one coal per hour each, so that's three of them. And this way, it'll only do be during the workday, although you can change the rules on the steam hubs as well to only work during the workdays. And later on, I think this one will get torn down, we'll move it over and take advantage of increased range and things like that. I think that's, generally, it's my idea anyway. 
Excited for Infinity War? Oh, yeah. Want a mod to walk around the city like Dwarf Fortress? Oh. So, London is a thousand miles away. Isn't it like 1,900 miles away? <gasps> a frightened patient. One of our people is facing death, but he's still refusing amputation. He keeps screaming that he doesn't want anyone to touch his leg, and he won't change his mind, even though gangrene will kill him in a matter of hours. Do we cut off his leg? This person will be left as an amputee. Or let him be. This person will probably die. Do we force him to be amputated, or just say, okay, whatever, man. Cut it off, cut him off, off his leg, cut it off, chop it off, chop. Okay, I guess we're cutting off his leg. Thump. So we've got three amputees now, three disabled people. Um, we'll probably enable a care house, and at some point we'll start to work on uh, prosthetics as well. Gathering post resources depleted. So this has got nothing left anymore, but that's okay, because we're about to build the coal thumper over here. Thumpity thump. So... We've got a sawmill, bring in a consistent amount of wood. We've got, um, we don't have a permanent steel source yet, although we have the technology for it. And there's the coal thumper. So we do need some workers, which we don't have right now. Tell you what, let's, um, let's abandon these coal piles for now, because this is going to be the same, but warmer. Workers, we'll put engineers in there for now. And, ah, children can work in the gathering post. Excellent. And actually, that means these workers can go away. We'll fill it with children, then go put and put some workers back in. Let me take the engineers away, put workers in, then put some engineers back in over here. That's going to be swell. And, yeah, we'll turn on the heaters on these various buildings to try to keep them a little warmer. Looks like there's more insulation in the coal thumper itself. So, it, this actually could still use a bit of a steam hub over here, just to keep it from being nasty, but it's going to be alright. So, these are still complaining about no gatherable resources, but as soon as we get a shift at the coal thumper, I think we're going to be okay. Fewer limbs mean he needs fewer rations. There you go. Now cook the amputated legs, make grand green pies? Wow! Wow! Guys, stop asking to kill him. We need to wait to have the option to become a dictatorship. There really is an option in this game to do that. Yep, there, there will be. We're going to have to make a choice about how we deal with... Um, uh, less than happy people. Yeah, I don't want to send the engineers out there. Is it just engineers? Four engineers, yeah. So I don't want to send them out here. Although, yeah, I'll probably just save them up for now. That's going to be okay. We got the second hut. All the food is being converted pretty quickly. Steelworks researched. Faster gathering will probably be something we want, but I don't know if we need to rush it right now. I'm thinking... Rather than bother, bother with the faster researching, we go and unlock drawing boards to unlock the next tier of technology. I like that. Alright, there's the coal thump. And I do like it. It's like, thump. And then you get a coal pile. Right there. You can actually assign people to the coal pile itself to collect it, but the, the gathering posts over here are going to be doing that for us without any real micromanagement. So we have eight six people, uh, eight sick people. We found the bridge to Winterhome. A brass plaque on the bridge tower reads, "Built by the people of Winterhome in A.D. 1887." The bridge is kept completely snow-free by a working automaton. We're gonna explore. We stopped at the edge of the deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge spanning it. Even more so with the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. It would be possible to send the machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. So, this is the automaton over there. We can send the automaton to the city. We'll get an automaton. Or we can dismantle it. We get two steam cores and some metals. I think we gotta take the automaton, right? They're cool. Send it to the city. Robots. We reprogrammed the automaton and sent it on its way. As it disappears in distance, walking steadily towards our city, the first wisps of snow started to settle on the bridge. So, automatons work at a building and, like, replace all the workers at a building, which is awesome. So, we still have our people. They still have some resources on them, but I guess we'll send them forward um, to the weather station. That's where our yellow dot is for the main quest. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and send them to the weather station. At some point, we'll have to send them back. And, yeah, the automaton is on the list. It's coming home, baby! Oh, oh, what is this? The search for other cities. Deserted bridge. Finding the bridge to winter home proved that we're on the right track, but raised questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer? There are logical explanations to it all, but mm, people are growing anxious. Hope falls slightly. We've got a fair amount of discomfort or discontent as well. Bad food, lack of medical care. Some people are living near the fighting arena, and those people are happy. 
How do we have lack of medical care? Uh, well, we don't have the um, we don't have the care home. That is true. Are we teching right now? Oh yeah, we're getting the drawing board. Oh, it's zero percent right because we we set it at night, so that's pretty fair. Is there anything that we are that we've researched that we didn't get around to building yet? We have the steelworks that we can consider. And we might be out of steel that's just sitting around, so it's probably worth getting started. Now, the steel works, you have to build it on a spot, right? Don't you? Oh, there we go. These guys over here. Like, there's, there's somewhere. It says building will destroy resources... resource sources, but... I mean, it's the only place that we're allowed to put it down, so... Yeah, and this message is a little odd to me. Kadash, <laughs> automatons taking our jobs. Presumably, they also didn't get frosty, which means maybe we could put them to work in this steel mill. Because it might not be worth heating out here. Now, no roads have been built here at all yet, right? No. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to extend a road out this way, which actually works out pretty nicely. I don't know if that counts as being connected. No, street is being constructed. So there we go. We'll take some wood to do that, but we're actually pretty good on wood. Yeah, more than one arena. Yep. So destroy the frozen trees. Are... Oh, there were some over there, I guess? I guess that must have been what it was complaining about. Still, I mean, we, we have no choice. We have to get these steel mills going. Get a consistent source of steel income, which could be good. More sick people are coming in. Frosty. Yeah, these are all on. We are hammering our coal fairly hard, but what can we do, right? Add an automaton tax. Whatever you do, do not go to winter home until you have a lot of coal storage. Really? I thought it was fine. I mean, we're trying to avoid too many spoilers here. I, I, I have played it a little bit, and I thought I had gone there, but I don't remember the coal-specific thing. We will see. Building up the road. We're going to the weather station. It's not the same as winter home, so I think we're okay. Is it expand? Does the ice wall expand, too? I don't know. I have not seen that. First, second, or third playthrough. Is it still in the 40% version? I mean, this is this is the first proper playthrough of what should be the final complete version. Less, you know, maybe a few cutscenes or something like that and some extra scenarios. Okay, we only have four sick people, which is good. Which means we actually have a lot of empty space. Alright, building up the steelworks. Got the road going. Yeah, I'll probably just put the automaton to work over there. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, and if we have some idle people, I'm not going to use engineers, but we still have a few coal piles that we can uh, we can grab, and at some point we will certainly do that. Coal income should be fairly consistent over here. Two, some absences. I don't know if there's a way to get a graph of, like... Is this an average? Is this income versus use? Because this thing was supposed to do about 560 coal per day, so presumably... We are going up. This game available now? Uh, no, I think it comes out on the 24th, so I think it's available in three days. Although I'm sure you can pre-order it. Whether or not that's a good idea, I don't know. What is this? Poor soup, food quality. Sir, people are complaining about the quality of food. They understand that times are hard and a full meal is luxury, but eating one from time to time makes a big difference. Is there a chance for that? I could promise to solve the problem. Um, if I do that, I have three days to provide 110 standard food rations. Or I could say no. Discontent will rise. We aren't doing too bad on food. I think I will say I will solve this problem. And what I'm going to do is temporarily I'm going to flip the co the um, the cookhouse back to standard meals. We're going to have to wait for some hunters to bring some raw food for us. But we will make some standard meals. And then we will um, probably switch back to soup. <laughs> uh, you're nearly done. You actually have a lot of... Oh, it's cooked meals. Which will probably count towards that. Except you'll never make it back in time. No gatherable resources within range. Yeah, so we're going to get that notice every now and again. But hopefully this will keep working fairly well. Scouts have reached a weather station. There's nobody in the weather station, but everything still seems to be operational. We could try to find out what the scientists from Winterholm were working on. I will explore. We find the scientists' notes. They predict that the great cold is going to get much worse. What's more troubling is that the observations ended abruptly months ago. There's also not a can of spam, not even a crumb of bread left in the pantry. It's obvious they've moved out for good. 
we can see the city of Winterhome from the roof of the weather station. So we found a coal mine and Winterhome. The coal mine's very exciting. I'll take these resources. At this point, we've got quite a few resources. What's the first thing on the left? What's that 91 that we're getting? But I think I'm going to send our people home. We got a lot of resources. Oh, it's coal! It's coal! That's the symbol for coal? Sure. The, ancient, the recent reports from the weather station got people talking. They're frightened that such an important facility was apparently abandoned. Some are starting to wonder whether the evacuation from London was a good idea. A few are lamenting openly. I knew we shouldn't have come. At least London had real houses, not tents and wooden shacks. Hell, we don't even have wooden shacks. We now have the storage space for when they arrive. I think you can go over the, the limit from that is what it seemed like to me when I was playing earlier. I'm pretty sure it went above the limit, although then it stalls our our, um, our collection. But yeah, we will... Um, extends our storage capacity for a chosen resource. So it's for a particular resource, I guess. And people suggested building it like near the, uh, the wall over here. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, right here. Um, I'm going to leave a little gap next to that thing just in case. Oh, there we go. Build a couple of those. There you go. And let that get built. Drawing boards researched! Excellent! Ho ho! So, we can upgrade the medical post so that it heals people 10% faster. We can build the research the bunkhouse, which are warmer than tents. The hothouse, which will let us grow more food. I kind of think we're going to do that, although we need steel to be able to build, uh, to research these things, so. Uh, more scouts, so we can get a second scouting group. It's probably a really good idea, although I think the first thing we're going to do is I think we're going to get the generator range upgrade. Can you, uh, I don't know if you can upgrade the tents. No, oh, you need steel to be able to research these. So what can we research that steel? Just the more scouts? I think that's literally the only thing we can research right now until we get the steel coming in. Okay. Now what I might want to do, since we do have this built, when's the automaton coming in? About a day. I could send some people over here, but I don't really have people around. So I think we'll just wait for the steel works. Until the automaton comes here and we'll get him to go. Oh, new book of laws. Uh, you can't upgrade tents. Oh, that's very convenient. Okay. So. Um, probably dueling. Although dueling will lead to our first death. At which point we'll need to worry about the cemetery. I think we'll enable dueling. Helps to reduce discontent. There you go. Keeps the population in check as well. If you're dumb enough to actually get involved in a duel... Then we don't want you as part of our little colony. <laughs> uh, so we're waiting for some rations to come in. To complete one of the quests. Alright, we can kick the speed up. Oh, the care house. Yeah, that actually would have been... That's the thing I keep forgetting, because we've got the disabled people and it would be good to put them in there. A duel is taking place. Can we actually see it? I don't think we can. Now, people don't always die in a duel. We didn't get a message, so probably no one died. They were just injured. Radical treatment, no to thanks. A note was left for the doctor who performed the amputation on a frightened patient. It reads, it reads, Thank you, I was in terrible pain and blinded by fear, and my choice would have doomed me. I may be crippled now, but I'll live. It was the right thing to do. Hope will rise slightly. The person who we forced them to cut off their leg. Ha. Right, more sick people. Let's get to work. We can't let up now. Good, good, good. Not a ton of analysts. It's just engineers, right? Yeah. I don't want to send them out to these various rock piles. Rewarded. Do, 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 do. Uh, now tracks. I think I missed the, uh, the tip from you. Sorry about that. About 20 minutes ago. Uh, I have watched your streams and YouTube content over the last few years, decided to finally give something back, and now that I've landed a job as an electrical engineer after six years of studying. Hey, congratulations! That's freaking awesome! Ho-ho! Oh, that's really awesome! Congrats! 
Okay, we can develop a second team of scouts. The problem is we don't really have the idle people for that right now. So, I mean, I was fine with the research, but we'll do that. We still don't have any steel, though, for... Um, promise fulfilled. Promise they'd have enough decent food to eat and you delivered. Hope rises. Excellent. So now that we've fulfilled that promise, we're going to go right back to soup rations. <laughs> uh, oh, we're full on food rations. Oh, because we brought a ton. I'm hoping the excess didn't go away. I'm hoping it just, like, overflowed, but maybe it didn't. We're going to go to the observatory. It's fairly close. Back to soup. Plebs. That's right. Uh, where are the stockpiles? Confused. Okay, so they're over here. So we have to choose. So people recommended more coal. And, I don't know, I guess I may have needed to hit this button. I'm worried that we actually lost some stuff. We're full on wood, so that's just sitting idle right now. That's okay. There is a tech to give us more storage space. Right here. You know what? Let's get the faster gathering so we can get more, more storage space. Otto is here! Otto the Automaton! Actually, if you click on it, they'll actually have a name. Um, there you are. Using automatons. First off, automatons operational. This will help our economy greatly. Automatons can replace entire manual labor crews. They work around the clock with short breaks to refuel the generator. We can research upgrades to raise their efficiency and capability. So if they're working near the generator, that needs a little bit less wa uh, walking time. But <gasps> the Golden Yorkshireman. Nice. Base efficiency, 60%. Well, listen, congratulations, uh, Mr. Automaton. You are going to work over here. So we're just going to turn on automatons. Boom. So he's going to go work at the steelworks, which is nice. We don't need to heat it. We don't need people over there. Um, I've actually got some idle people. I'm going to go and make one of them into another scouting group. And I'm going to send you out to the large convoy over here. There we go. So two scouts are out in a boot now. We can call Otto the automaton. I like that. Yeah. Put him on the coal thumper. I mean, then it's nice because he does feed himself, but... This, uh, I'm putting them over here because it's so far away from any heating or anything like that. That way I don't care how cold this thing gets. And it's going to be fine. My grandfather's Yorkshireman, but he's not golden. It's okay, he can dye his hair. Workshop. We've got no discontentment at all. People are totally content. And they have a decent amount of hope. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm sure you guys are shocked as well. Um, so yeah, we need more storages built. Where'd I put those? Over here. I don't think people have to walk back and forth to this. I think that's why people encourage us to build it so far away. That's not the button I want. Resource depot. Wow, 20 steel for that. Yeah, well, we're going to be getting the, the tech to have more storage space soon. We'll probably end up building one for each type of thingy. I wonder if you can change it. Like, I guess so, because I have enough food now. Okay, where's our center, central stockpile? This can fit... I don't know if this one fits 600 or if we have total 600 storage. I think it's total 600 storage. And this was 300, so presumably if I go and say change... Yeah, we're just under 300 now, which is good. I can make this into a wood one. Because we're capped there. And yeah, we'll, we'll set up some more soon. What are you complaining about? Oh, you don't have any raw food. Yeah, that's okay. Successful frozen colony. You're lucky scouting more than most people. What what are people talking about? Are you are you finding us to be particularly successful? This this is this is the, like the runs I was having when I was trying things out like this morning to make sure that it wasn't crashing. Hmm, seems fairly straightforward. I mean, we did the ten day trial a long time ago, and that went okay. A few things were different. I think we could build the bunkhouse right from the start. Before, scouts have reached the observatory. Something's amiss at the observatory. Snow covers the precious instruments, and the dome is open, letting out a thin column of smoke. Someone's inside! Ah! The sun is dimming! 
Instead of astronomers, you are met by some of our lost people. They explained they came here for help, but found everyone dead. The astronomers continued their observations until they starved. What was so important for them? They wrote it up in their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Dun, dun, dun. We also uh, got some survivors. So we can escort them, or we can send them on their way without escorting them, which might mean some of them die. Um... I think, you know what, it's close enough. I'm just going to escort the survivors to the city here. It'll bring them closer. We actually could use more workers right now. So it'll bring them back to the city a little faster and ensure that they're they're not going to die along the way. Because, yeah, we, we are a little starved for people. We do have some uh, some idle workers right now. Um, and actually know where to put them. That's not going to last for very long. Um, there we go. More steel is coming in. So we'll get another resource post there. And... I wonder if there's a hotkey for building the road. I, don't, I think it's a little... like There's hotkeys for some things, but I don't think there's like an infinite number of hotkeys because I think the uh, the game is available on console as well. Throw coal at the sun. <laughs> a little start for people. No cannibalism yet? <laughs> uh, we'll be able to do a new law soon. I really need to build the care, the care house. we got some raw food. We are a little capped on our food ration storage, but again, we're, we're working on that here. That's probably what this is going to be. Like, I did the wood one, but I'll probably go back to that. And we'll probably end up with, like, one for each. Faster gathering is finally being researched, and that leads to the, um... The bigger storage space. Yeah, we are researching. It's... If you set the research at night... Oh, he just went to recharge. If you set the research at night... It looks like it's idle, because it, it doesn't accrue any percentage. This little gear doesn't show up until it's got, like, at least 1% or something. Which I'm betting a patch is going to resolve. Because it's very confusing. It looks like nothing is being researched, if you set the research at night. Alright, you are going to go back to food rations, because we're nearly capped. There we go, we got some new people, and these scouts are waiting. I'm going to send you uh, to the Gloomy Clay Caves, because it's close. Although I know we've got to go to Winterhome, but it's very close, so we'll get some info. And I couldn't bear to not explore the gloomy clay caves. Bum, 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 bum. Also, we're gonna have to take a break soon because I'm I gotta pee for some reason. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to hold out until two o'clock, which is in forty minutes. But we'll see. We'll see how stressed I get. Um, do I have hot house tech? I don't think so. Not yet, right? No. We'll probably need that soon as our population continues to grow. We got a lot of idle workers. Now, they're going to help with construction for now. Are there any little resource deposits left? Yeah, there's some. There's some steel wreckage over here. Let's get some workers there. There's still coal over here. There you go. And some children. Um, it's a fair amount of engineers. I still don't think I'm going to send the engineers over there. We could put a little gathering post over there, but I think I'll leave it. Law, thank you. Uh, so the food storage... I mean, we don't have the raw food storage thing yet. But I did set it... No, I didn't. I thought I clicked that button. Okay. That was weird. Law. So I want the care house. Which is down here. Uh, boom. There we go. Gravely ill, kept alive. Longer. Uh, they eat half as much. Hope will rise. Somewhere for us to keep our MPTs until we've got, like, all of our um, prosthetics making. So base heating level is two. Just needs wood. I think, I think I'm going to build it here. I think that's going to be fine. What happens when discontent or hope is full? Or if hope is empty, what does it mean? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out at some point. Alright, resource depot upgrade. So 50% more resources get stored. I'm assuming that works on all of our storages. At least I'm hoping it does. All right, steel counts are going up, and we can still build a little bit more storage. Oh, this building's turned differently. That's interesting. Um, I kind of like feel like building one of everything, just to say, but I think we're kind of okay now. And what we can do is we can build it maybe in response to one of our scouts coming back with a ton of something. We'd be like, okay, hold on, we need to build some more storage spaces to be ready for whatever. Need more homes. You're right, we do. Uh, so the homes are getting put over here. So if we don't get the homes going... Damn it. 
Care House for Promise Fulfilled. Hope rises. Excellent. Um, if I don't build the houses, then people will start getting frostbite. And we'll get a bunch of sick people, which, you know, doesn't sound very good. There we go. That will be enough tents for everyone. I don't know if anyone ever makes babies or if the children ever grow up. I don't think so, because, like, the, the time span is too short, right? It's days at a time. And I don't know if it's, like, surviving bars or, like, oh, one soul is effectively, like, a year or something like that. Or it's more like a day really is a day. People never age up. But at least we put the kids to work, so that's going to be fine. So you're just, this is the cookhouse, because it doesn't have raw meat, which is fine. It needs, it needs in pairs. An odd number of meat doesn't help. Some people are complaining about starving. I think there were probably the new people that showed up and hadn't eaten a meal yet, because obviously we've got tons of food. Although it wouldn't surprise me it's going down. It's going to get colder again, so we're going to get back to minus 40. Yay! Did we research the extra range thing? No, not yet. It's available, but we don't have it yet. Child slavery with quill. I mean, that's just the way it goes all the time. Uh, seven being treated. Zero. Hold on. Oh, is the red tickies show you people who are ill but not being treated? So whenever that red ticky is up, it's bad? Oh! Okay. I was like, because remember we had like five and I was like, oh no, we've got, we got tens of room for those. I didn't realize it. So down here, these are people who are like fine. Now... I think these disabled people were in the medical post, but are now probably in the care house. In the care house, staying home? Going to a care house. Yeah. Generally, red beans, bad, bad. Well, I just assume sick people is always bad, right? So, red thing, sick people, but hopefully they're being helped. I was like, no, that, clearly that's bad. I didn't realize it was like, no, no, you, you, it's so bad because they weren't being treated. These little gray things I hadn't even really properly noticed. Okay, research is happening. Some unemployment, but not tons. Although, again, what I could do... Oh, yeah, we, it's just engineers. It's unemployed engineers. I mean, I probably could send them out here, but it's not like we have a shortage of coal. In fact, we have tons stored up. Research the coal mine at some point. Bum, 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 bum. That's too far away from the center. Um, they're they're being heated though. We have uh we have another heating area over here. These houses are all fine. See, no worries. Everything is awesome. Another research station, maybe you do get diminishing returns. The first one is like 100% rate. The second one gives you an extra, I think, 30%. So it gets better. I guess I do have the idle. Um, yeah, I have the idle engineers. So why not, right? I don't think the materials are that insane. Um, wrong tab. Yeah, the materials aren't that insane. Uh, it is base heating level 2. I'm tempted to put it in a slightly heated area, though. I'm going to build it here. I want it on, like, the second ring so that when we do get more range, because it is just going to get colder and colder. So right now it's not going to be heated by the central hub. But at some point... Um, is there a... It's kind of a little wonky with, like, the width of the buildings, so we're going to get crooked lines. Maybe I'll build it here. Just because maybe this wedge will end up being, like, similar sort of size. Okay, we'll do that. So, yeah, it'll research a little faster, but I think, uh... What does it say? Is it a tutorial? Research. Yeah, workshops. 100%. 130%. Yeah, so... So it's a 30% more of a boost, 20% more of a boost, 10% more of a boost. So it's definitely diminishing returns. Doesn't mean that it's not worth going up to maybe four. We've reached a gloomy cave. There's survivors. Number of footprints leading to its entrance. We should check to see if there's still someone alive up there. Beset by beasts. We can hear terrifying shrieks coming from the cave uphill. When we come closer, several polar bears turn toward us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, and those beasts are picking them off one by one and feasting on them. We could leave the bears alone. The bears will kill the survivors, or we could risk attacking the bears. It may enable us to get these survivors out of there, or they might eat our scouts. Bears equal food. Fight them, save them, tame the bears, kill them, food. So, last time I got this, and I clicked the button, my scouts just died. But people are saying that bears equal food, so let's take the risk. What could possibly go wrong? We had to help the survivors. When our scouts attacked the bears, the people in the caves joined them, and together they drove the beasts away. Unfortunately, the scout dies from injuries. Oh, 
The people they saved set out towards our city, guided by a map made by the scouts. Doesn't look like we got any food. We got people. Which, I mean, so five of those people are going to, you know, effectively be our new scouts. We're also going to need new wood to make a new scouting group. Oh well. Rip scouts. So I don't know if it's a random thing or a set thing. I'm pretty sure I got the same result twice. Because I think I saved the people last time as well. I'm not sure. It's possible that last time we just failed outright and didn't get anything out of it. I love the footprints that the automaton leaves. Thump, thump, thump. And then it just sort of like merges with the building. It's like, this building is mine now. Thump. Until it gets up and then goes to work somewhere else. At least you didn't need to bury them at home. <laughs> Make some of those useless engineers in the scouts. Uh, well, first of all, I can't. They actually have to be actual workers. Oh, speaking of engineers, we're going to send them to the workshop, and I'll give them some local heat as well, just to assist with that. Scouts have reached a long con large convoy. Convoy carrying workers that got lost in the blizzard. They are weak and have no provisions. We should listen to their story and escort them to the city. The workers who were riding in this convoy told us they were heading for the city of Winterhome. We were supposed to follow the signal from the beacon, but we couldn't pick it up, they say. We tried to follow a search pattern to find it, but we ran out of fuel. So, we can escort them, we can leave them. I think I'm going to send them to the city, but without escorts. Alright, I'm going to check Winterhome now. It's time to see what's going on there. This other big settlement. We need to know. Dun, 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 dun. Just tame the bears and create bear cavalry scouts. Oh, cool. All right, all the buildings. In, we're a little short on workers here. Forget. I'll, I'll send in the uh, the engineers there. It's going to be fine. Now, we are researching the resource upgrade, which I think will be handy. We do have three extra steam cores. That'll be nice when we uh, unlock better techs. We make steam lumber, lumber yards and steam mines and various things going to be very, very handy dandy. You're complaining you don't have raw food. That's fine. Tons of rations. I don't think... Yeah, we can't interact with that other than just hit this. Resource depot upgrade researched. Nice. So even more capacity for things. Coal mining. The charcoal kiln lets us make coal out of wood. Sawmill upgrade. Efficiency of sawmills and steam sawmills raised by 25%. I mean, that's fine, I suppose. Here's the wall drill. Where you get food from drilling out the walls. I think what we do is we get bunkhouses. Either bunkhouses or hothouses. Generator range pretty good too. We get wood from the wall. Did I say food? I I meant wood. We had this whole I had this whole story. At the start of the thing, where, like, we're not really in a crater, we're just in a hole of, like, a frozen forest. Yeah, you get wood. If I said food, it was me just derping my words. I think we can get the bunkhouses first, and the reason I say that, the generator range is mostly just going to help us cover more houses. I mean, plus some other things. But yeah, I'm going to get the bunkhouses. We're going to start upgrading our houses to that, and we won't need to run the generator as, as far or as hard or something like that as a result of having the bunkhouses, which are naturally insulated. They just need a little bit more material, and so far, we're doing great on material. Although, we're also doing good on coal. God, I love to see the automaton walking around. He needs to go and uh, eat some coal. <gasps> Mild frostbite. Yeah, and there's it's one person not actively being treated. Um, it'd be nice if when you clicked on this, it highlighted your treatment centers. I don't know if there's a way to easily get that. Because these are both full, so I'm going to go ahead and burn some extra food rations to get these people to um, get healed a little faster. We'll also keep these medical uh, posts warmer here for now. Uh, it's normal difficulty. All the settings were set to normal. Yeah, it looks like we got to keep things a little warmer here. So I don't need to worry about the steelworks because that's just an automaton. And over here... Oh, oh that they were on. Whoops. Wow, and they're still cold. I mean, I can make it a little bit better if I were to build another one of those little steam things, but... Yeah, see, all these houses are pretty chilled. So if we can upgrade these tents to bunk houses, I think that's going to be a pretty big win. Okay. Let's kick it up a few speed notches here. Do you need to upgrade the storage depots or it was automatic? Uh, that's a good question. I assumed it was automatic. 
But I keep doing that. Oh my god, we got some more. Yeah, it's really cold. Where is it? Over here. Yeah, there's no button for it. Yeah, they fit 450, so yeah, they all got upgraded automatically, so it's fine. There, people keep being really cold. We may have to build another, um, another medical center. So we have two groups of people coming right now. Some on their own, and some escorted by a scout. Oh, everyone's getting super sick! Okay, first, you'll overdrive. Oh my god! Everyone's gonna get massive, massive frostbite. I did build the care house. I did build the care house. Another day, another shift. Discontent from bad food. Lots of hope. Hope's alright. Steel wreckage depleted. Bunk house research. Excellent. I'm going to start the next research right away, and that will definitely be the generator range. Um, so we've got some extra workers now, which probably means, yeah, I can go and get the extra scout group, which is grand. Let's, uh, I guess there's nothing for us to scout over here, because we've done all this. I mean, I can send the scouts back over here, but I don't think there's any reason. So we're going to send the scouts to the coal mine over here. That sounds pretty useful. Um... Oh, yeah, and bunkhouses. So, I don't think there's, like, a bulk upgrade button for it, unfortunately. People said I could upgrade a tent to a bunkhouse. Oh, I see. So, it's normally 20 wood... 10 steel, so you just plop it on top, then it's the difference. Okay. Can't tell if it's like easier to see it one way or another here. Oh, it's actually the, the tents are all glowing. They're they've gone transparent and glowy. Oh, they're all going to be homeless while this is being built. Hold on. I didn't realize the tents get instantly taken, torn down. Uh, well, luckily we have some idle people. More idle people, because the coal pile just depleted. Go! Build! Faster! <laughs> Need our corpse disposal. Survivors reach the city. Group of survivors has reached the city. They're tired. They need a place to rest and bite to eat and perhaps some medical attention. But they're ready to land a hand whenever, however they can. Good. Build more houses. We'll build these houses. <gasps> Scouts have reached winter home. We climbed the edge of the city. We stood there speechless, staring at the scene of devastation. It's a city of the dead. Most of the buildings are destroyed and the generator has exploded. It's probably from one of my previous games where I forgot to turn off the overcharge. We're going to explore. The streets of the ruined cities are littered with Scores of dead bodies. The City Chronicles describes the shortage of food and citizens' increasing despair, the following squabbles, riots, and descent into anarchy, fights for dwindling resources, and the eventual starvation. The last entry, God forgive us, we're eating our dead. There is no hope. Sites discovered. Freshwater Springs. American camp. We're on our own. Straw poll time to choose between religion and dictatorship. Yeah, we'll be throwing that up in a second here. We are alone. The news has shocked everyone in the city. There were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here. People living normal lives in homes heated by generators. But we're alone. Hope falls. And it's going to fall a lot. Check it out. Oh. Got rabble. Rabble, 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 rabble. I'm pretty sure the hope, like, you'll see it noticeably fall when we get out of here. We must save ourselves and our children. We must go back. We should have stayed in London. Surely it couldn't fall in... Like, there you go. The hope. Oh, I believe it, like, wipes out all your hope progress and sets it to that. They're all dead? Coming here as a fool's errand. We should go back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it blows away all your hope, no matter where it is. Winterhome has fallen. They're all dead. How will we survive here without any help? We have to go back to London. There's no hope for us here in this frozen desert. People start to gather as the news of the fate of Winterhome spreads through the city. Some of them want to drop everything and flee to London. Panic is starting to set in. I must give them a purpose. Choose our path. So our path options will be order and discipline. A new set of laws will become available. Order. Or faith and spiritual strength. A new set of laws will become available. Faith. 
So I'm gonna run a straw poll. Don't don't need you don't need to spam chat. We're gonna do straw poll. Uh, which path? Order. Faith. They're both ways to try to keep our population in check. Uh, vote here. Boom. Boom. There you go. There's the link. Yeah. If if you spam chat, then you won't see the the link. So there you go. Vote there. Pope or Hitler. Well, if you say it that way, obviously people are going to choose. You know what they're going to choose. But order and faith. Right now, order's got a pretty substantial lead. It's 65% to 35%. A lot of votes coming in very quickly, but it's pretty much there. Basically a two-to-one boost in favor. Two-thirds boost towards order. So there we go. People want an authoritarian dictatorship. Keep in mind these are the same people who don't listen to me and the mods when we say don't spam chat. So... Do you really want an authoritarian dictatorship? <laughs> All right, order and discipline is the way we're going to go. Boom. So we have a new book of laws, purpose. We still have the old one. We can still go and finish up. But now we can do that and we can enable something like neighborhood watch. We need to mobilize and stand together to help people in need and protect them from troublemakers. So it'll enable us to build a watchtower. Watchtower increases the hope of people living nearby. You will have to build two watchtowers. I will sign the Neighborhood Watch into law. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go to Order, Watchtower, and we're going to build it. Now, um, we are going to build it. There's a bunch of houses over here. I'll build it over. I'll, I'll build it right here. It's going to be fine. I know it's not connected to the street, but that's okay. And I think we're going to do some more housing over here later. This will get extended out. So I'm going to build the watchtower. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a bunkhouse. Is there a street on the other side? Oh, no, it's just a path. And another bunkhouse. And that way I can put a watchtower right here. I think technically if we built that out a little further, it might be more efficient. But this way it does cover more of the tents here. Yeah, that's going to be okay. So we're going to do that. And then we will build a street along here. Like so. And I think we need another one over here as well. Yeah. So you're going to be fine. So what we're going to need is we're going to need a street over here between those as we expand. And that means we're going to need another one over here. We don't need it to go any further, but we may as well build it to at least there. Okay. Oh, what is this? A note of thanks. Someone left a note at the care house. It reads, thank you. With all the work we've had to do, it's so hard for families to properly care for an invalid. Places like this make life a little easier for us all. I'm glad I could help. Hope will rise slightly, which is good because right now it's critically bad. Uh, you're waiting over here. We can build an outpost here later, which is nice. You've got a couple of steam cores. Someone's going to this coal mine. We've got the American camp over there. Well, let's pop over to Freshwater Springs. Someone will have to go over here at some point. I suppose I could tell um, these guys to turn around. Actually, I will. I want you to turn around and go to the American camp instead. So we have one set of scouts operating sort of in this area. Another one here. I think there's going to be some more spots to find over on that end of things. Mm, the overdrive is still fine right now. We're actually getting close to our coal cap, actually. Now, I mean, I could, you know, sort of stop accruing it, but I'm, I'm thinking we're going to be very happy to have a lot of stored up coal later on. I'm getting into the storage. Not the time to have more construction. I mean, there's a point to be said about that. The unconvinced want to leave. Sir, you've convinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of our people are still so scared that they want to flee the city for London in 15 days. They've come to try to change your mind. You say order will save us? Nonsense! What are we going to orderly decide? What? Are we going to orderly decide who to eat first and uh, when we start to starve? If we don't try to reach London, we'll end up like Winterhome. Calm down, we're not going to die. The Londoners. Your people are divided. Some of them are so scared that they plan to leave the city for London in 15 days. They'll try to convince others to join them, preying on their discontent. 
Fear may lead people to desperate acts. Maintain peace, give people hope, and manage the discontent to guide the city safely through the looming social crisis. Are we not researching anything right now? Let's get a sawmill upgrade, because apparently we're a little low on wood. Well, we're low on wood and steel. We're out of steel. So we're about 50% mark on the overdrive. I'm going to leave it running for now. That's okay. Watchtower, we're going to throw some workers in there. And over here. As promised, you built and manned watchtowers to maintain order in the city. Hope rises. If we look at discontent, 70 people live near a fighting arena. 60 people near, live near a watchtower or guard station. So we still need more of these things, but for now we're okay. Researching loss soon. Yeah, we're bulk working on things, which is why everything got low. I don't know. I still want the resource depot. Put them in the dueling pit, the Londoners. So there's 13, and right now the tendency is to grow. A group of people may join. So you're still working on steel over here. It's going to continue to trickle in. Free time, more people will help build the buildings. They're nearly done. We still have some homeless people, although I think this is about to finish. I think we have to build one more bunkhouse. After that's done. F finally, the weather's going to warm up a little bit. There we go. And yeah, we do... Okay, well, we'll just wait. Three people will be homeless for a little longer. Food problems, but not really. They might be some of our new people. We've got some more people coming soon. Yeah, food's a bit of an issue. I don't think we ever got hothouse tech. I think we'll build another hunter's hut for now, then. This is fine. Okay, I think it's time to turn this off, just to be safe. Uh, we will get a few more frostbites in these houses, but at least, like, the bunkhouses are a fair bit warmer. You know? Uh, we're on the range too, so the range is a little further now, which is good. Does use a lot more coal, like more range, and we can get higher steam levels later as well. Still have an unconverted tent, that is true. Actually, apparently more than one. Or, one on the inner ring, yeah, and then there's that. I suppose I should probably prioritize the homeless people, which just went up because of this now. <clears throat> you need... Yeah, give me more coal storage. Giant buffer. We'll get a coal mine soon, which is going to be nice. People demand hope. I know! More people live in the need to watch tower guard stations. Fall of Winter Home is hurting them. I think that'll go away. Yeah, last 24 hours. At some point, that negative thing will go away. So you reached freshwater springs. Several pools are kept from freezing by hot spring deep underground. Patches of hardy lichen cling to the bare rock at their edges. It looks like a good place for a hideout. Near the freshwater springs, we meet some refugees from Winterhome. They are a sorry sight and seem to be completely unmoved by the fate of their city. Ask what keeps them from starving. They look away, then mumble something about eating lichen. Uh-huh. We can escort them. We can just send them. I think I'll just send them unescorted. I mean, we'll keep taking more people in, but our scouts have better things to do. Although, oh yeah, you just have the steam cores. Snow Cliff or Frozen Grove? Let's go this way, Snow Cliff. Snow cl cliff, hole in it. We can see a lone figure bustling about. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, we need... No, not you. We need here, we need some workers. I mean, it won't highlight where the workers are. It does sometimes and not other times. Yeah, see? These guys over here. We don't need that, but we want the kids to work there. Maybe it doesn't highlight normal workers. Maybe it only highlights children and engineers. That's possible. Don't let the Londoners disrupt the city. So there's 13 of them. 13 Londoners. That's, yeah, that's the number of Londoners, and then time left of 14 days. We've got a lot of extra people sick. We might want to do another 
another sick house. I think we probably should. Oh, we don't have the material. We still need to finish some of the housing. The reason they're getting sick is because of the insane cold. Oh, what do you want? People join the Londoners. Sir, the people who want to leave for London successfully urge their friends and neighbors to join them. People are more easily persuaded because they have little hope in our ultimate survival. Well, I... Ma, grr. Okay, let me build one more bunkhouse, and this is actually going to be near the uh, the tower. No, what are you talking about, none of wood? Why were you in the list? Oh, only conversion of buildings is, is allowed. Well, let's hold off on that for now, then. Other cities may have fallen, but it's not, not London. It's impossible! Impossible! How many slave citizens do you have? Uh, total population is down here, 177. Work time. Good. We'll get some wood again. There we go. Bunkhouse. So no more homelessness. And then we'll convert over the last few houses soon. You guys are moving around. Research is a thing that's happening. Laws are still cooling down. Yeah, whoever heard of Fallen London? <laughs> Benevolent leader Quill18 announces the grand opening of Sweeney Todd's Barbershop. 50% discount for Londoners. <laughs> Scouts have reached snow eclipse. Hole in the snow cliff leads to a small chamber. Someone lives here, but the lonely human figure we saw from afar has disappeared. Might be the sole survivor of Winterhome. The man we've seen from afar was nowhere to be found. Searching his burrow, we found a diary of a scientist who fled Winterhome. After the starving city fell into chaos, its leader, an army captain, appointed himself an absolute ruler. He tried to impose order using force. Plenty of people, disgruntled, deserted the city, and most of the others rebelled against him. Site discovered throughout a cave. Turns out going by force doesn't necessarily work. Take these resources. I'm going to send these scout home because at this point we've got three um, uh, steam cores and we don't want to lose those. So it'd be nice if there's a shortcut for it to just send them home. But there we go. We're going to do that. It's a long walk, but I think it's a, a good idea. Sawmill upgrade research. Good. What do we need for the next level? Quite a bit of wood, but we've got that. There's the wall drills. I don't think we need them right now. We still have the lumber mills. Although, a second lumber mill is probably good. Not that we necessarily have the workers. More power for the generator. I think we can hold off on that a scooch. We are going to want the outpost depot soon. Hothouse for more food is probably the way to go. Medical post upgrade will be nice so we can heal people faster. But let's get the hothouse. Because our food situation is not stable. And we're getting more refugees all the time. Quill's Old City. Yeah, I think it is Quill's Old City. Is exactly what the situation is. Hot houses. Yeah. Coal deposits. What is this? Timely intervention. Sir, a child climbed the generator, slipped and fell, but was thankfully caught by a neighborhood watch member who was on patrol nearby. He then escorted the child to his mother and gave them both good talking to. Could have ended with a broken leg or worse if it weren't for our watchman, a neighbor commended, commended. We're lucky to have them. That's right! Neighborhood watch is great. We're not all setting up some sort of draconian regime here. <laughs> Sudbury's <Sunbury's> fear has changed. <laughs> I've never heard the term hot house is like a soup kitchen. No, it's like a, a greenhouse. Except not, you know, glass and stuff. It's a warm place where we can grow plants so that we can get more food. <sighs> well, the hope bounced back after, like, people started forgetting about Winter Home a bit. Yeah, let's upgrade the last of the tents. I like that idea. You, you, and I think that's it. We don't have the material for it anyway, so. What's with the giant spider? That's our automaton. That's Otto the automaton. What's actually the golden Yorkshireman? Apparently, you can't rename. He works at a steel mill. Extra rations from the sick. Well, technically, the people in a care home eat less. So that's good. We're, I think we're going to need another freaking medical center here. I'm, I'm getting a little concerned. Um, one of the things we can do is research the infirmary tech, too, which is, like... A better medical center plus care home or something. Survivors reach the city. So we'll need some more houses. Although some people can go and become workers over there. We've got the watchtower here. So that's probably where we're going to increase things. Yeah, we probably need a little bit more... Um, 
woodworking. There we go. Another another medical center, so we can have up to 15 people in there. Although, got the disabled. There we go. Yeah, 15. Good. Um, yeah, we're gonna send up another lumber mill. Sawmill. So it looks like tucked in here is. Oh, that's probably for the wall drill. So it looks like tucked in here is pretty good. I don't know if we can destroy the streets later. Probably. Yeah, we don't have enough wood for that, but... Scouts have reached the American camp. America? There's not a living soul in the camp. We found a dozen emaciated bodies. Surprisingly, most of them are disabled people fitted with prostheses. Starving American. The American camp was well supplied with everything except food. Searching the tents, we found more victims of hunger. Most of them have have badly worn but sophisticated artificial limbs bearing a company symbol. Tesla Manufacturing. We can only bury them and take their equipment. We found a new site. We got 69 metal and another steam core. I guess we'll go to the temporary settlement. There might be some people there and then we'll come home and, and drop that stuff off. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Looks a little funny, but it'll be okay. We're out of wood. Well, I mean, I'm building something to get more wood. It's just nighttime, so no one's doing the wood check. They ran out of burgers. <laughs> Elon Musk attacks again. Oh, it's an old RimWorld settlement. <laughs> oh, uh, workers there. I think I can still work without road access. It just sucks. Uh, we'll get some heat going on in here, too. Londoners gained more followers. Arr. Wonder if the captain really has a plan. I totally have a plan, you guys! Don't make fun of my plan! It's a really good plan! I'm gonna, I'm gonna build a, a wall against the snow. And make the global warming pay for it. Yeah! There you go. Wood, wood, wood. There you go. Would you kindly expand over to this building, please? Thank you very much. Hothouse researched. Excellent. Uh, I will get the medical post upgrade uh, when we get more material, because it leads to more stuff, but yeah. Then we'll probably have to get the next level of things. We've got a new law. So, there's still some adaptation stuff we can get. You know, public houses and things like that. That being said, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and... Either the morning gathering or the guard stations. Guard stations, new building, raises the hope, lowers discontent, very good. Morning gathering is really interesting though. Every morning a gathering will increase hope. Public house into moonshine. Give the homeless people some hope. I think I'm gonna, I want, well, the morning gathering doesn't require us to build anything. I think we have to do this because we're a little sore on material right now. We're gonna get the morning gathering first and then we'll come back and do some other things. Um, how are we on food? We don't have a ton, but we have some. I was just thinking at the medical posts, which are presumably full, we're going to go ahead and do a pair of double rations here to try to clear some people out a little faster. So begins the transformation of our city into a garrison. We could use a reminder of what we're fighting for every day. Mm. Medical post upgrade. Oh, I need more wood. Arr. Give me wood. Scouts have reached the temporary settlement. Explore. The center of the settlement is marked with an upright boulder. On its, on its roughly planed face, someone chiseled, chiseled the following. May God forgive the genius who sacrificed humans' lives in the name of progress, for we can't. I think these people have been in one of my games before, too. I don't know which one, but definitely they've been in one of my games. Exiles of Tesla City. We won't touch the monument, but we decide to dismantle the huts for wood. We've discovered a walled colony and a fishing village. I will take the resources. And I think I'm going to send these guys home. They've got tons of resources. I don't want something to happen that accidentally kills them or something. And we could certainly use a quick little wood infusion to accelerate the rate at which we do things here. Make proper food to reduce discontent? Maybe. Um, we don't have research going on right now. We actually do have the material. Okay, start the medical post upgrade. Thank you. 
And um, we didn't actually build the hothouse, right? We have it, but we didn't build it. Uses up a steam core, but I think it's well worthwhile. This is a housing area. I need another, like, industrially kind of area, which is back here. Because these areas don't need watchtowers and things like that. Hothouse is big, wow. Still. Let's get that going on. Can you make Soma? Is that the, that's the drink from, um, uh, Brave New World, right? Keeps people satisfied. Uh, we've just used our first steam core. Steam core is a necessary component in advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cores in the city, so let's hope our scouts find them during their expeditions. Hopefully if you dismantle a building with steam core, you get the steam core back. Otherwise that would be pretty bad. And yes, we do need more housing. So, bunk houses. Now, where was oh, that tower over here? Okay. This is not a warmed area. And actually, this house won't be in range of that watchtower. So that's an interesting question. Do we maybe want to build something else in the corner? We maybe just want to build this here. I don't know how much space we might need for something else. That's really not a lot. I, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm just going to maximize the amount of um, houses that are going to be within range of this one watchtower. So we'll build there. If that ends up being dead space... Or just take the houses of the 27 Londoners. Yeah, maybe we can just exile all these guys. You want to go back to London? Go. Another steam hub somewhere over here would also be, yeah, something we'll uh, we'll take a look at the temperature thing in just a moment. I almost said mo, and then I stopped myself, because God, could you imagine? Uh, and we still have some more refugees coming soon as well, so overkilling the houses is not a problem. Actually, this won't be an overkill. Well, overkill by six, but that's fine. Oh, there we go. Hot house. Get some workers in there. Excellent. Make raw food. And we can heat you even more. That's going to be okay. Coal is still alright, but yeah, the, the wood and the steel... I mean, we have a constant input, but, you know... Maybe not as much as we'd like. And the steel works over here, being worked by, by Otto. Sawmill over here. I mean, we could get laws to do, like, emergency work shifts and things like that. Which allows us to work longer hours. But that's another way to make people super miserable. And then maybe we'll get a lot more Londoners. And I don't know if that's what we want. Uh, I don't have any outposts built yet. So, take a look at the temperature. Housing over here. I think what we'll probably end up doing is building another row of houses and then get a heat. But these are pretty... They're livable. I mean, people will get sick, but they're not dying yet. Scouts from number... Oh, scouts from number two. Like, scout group number two. Return safely to the city. Bring some extra resources. Excellent. And then we'll send them back out somewhere. Um, oh, these are the guys that are going this way. So, we're going to go and check out this coal mine. Sounds like a useful thing to find. We can almost pass another law. We have a lot of mouths to feed. I think I think we build a second hothouse. I know it uses a steam core, but... People need a pub. Um, I really want to get a guardhouse, because I know there's going to be some events where you get some extra options if you have a guardhouse, but... Is scouting randomized every game? Um, I'm not sure. I think it might be based on the scenario. I think we just got a contribution to the Whiskey and Chocolate Fund, which helps keep you warm in the winter. Oh, I actually missed one earlier from Termix, who said, for the Haggis and Chocolate Fund. Ooh. Definitely had some Haggis when I was in, in the Scottish lands. I like it. I like it so much. It's such a, it's actually such a simple, like, plain, down-to-earth food. Like, you know, it's like, when you hear about it, you're like, oh, no, it must, must be weird and tastes really... No, it's like the most normal thing you'll ever eat. It's awesome. An ultimate balloon! Thank you as well. Hey, Quill, I've been watching you for years. Have some New Zealand dollars for the Whiskey and Chocolate Fund. You may wish to move your head to the other side so you don't cover buildings and, and mission UI. Yeah, but there's other stuff over there too, I think, so. It's fine. Boom. Alright, so. Options. We could build guard stations, which are good for various events, or. Yeah, you know what? I mean, we gotta go into pubs and moonshine, right? 
We just have to. It's triage over here. New ability. You can use triage medical facilities to instantly heal 60% of patients, but 25% of them will die. Well, that's good emergency stuff. There's our prosthetics. If we start to build factories, we can build prosthetics. We will... Oops, I didn't want to close you. I just want to back up. What else is outstanding? Well, we never got around to building a cemetery because we haven't had anyone die yet, which is amazing. I, I think we can live without the emergency shift. Public house! Pubs! Done. We have to build a public house. A new law has passed. Looking forward to an evening in the pub with friends. So, public house. There could only be one in the city. Oh, it doesn't have a radius. I see. So in theory, I can stick this anywhere. Base heating level 2. Let off steam. So I think I might just tuck it in here. Done. Somewhere where I might be sensible. I mean, it's got the base heating of 2. Are we getting more Londoners? Yeah, they're only up to 30, though. Uh, let's get some workers in here. Public house built. Hope rises. Um, here, we'll, put, we'll stick some engineers in there, too. And livable. I'll turn the heater on. Whatever. It's fine. Medical post upgraded. Good. So, charcoal kiln, coal mining. We're still good on this right now. So, generator power upgrade. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get drafting machine for the next tier of tech. I think that's going to be the most important thing we can do right now. Another hothouse. I guess we'll load it with engineers. Engineers working in pub. Figuring out new brew mechanisms. There you go. Scouts have returned. Bringing wood, metal, and more steam cores. Alright. And then we're going to send you over here. Walled Colony Fishing Village. Let's start with the wall. You know what? For food purposes, we're going to send you to the fishing village and see what's there. And in totally unrelated news, we have to research outpost tech soon. Just saying. Mm. No, I mean, we can use engineers for all sorts of menial jobs. I don't want them to die for, like, stupid stuff. Although, at this point, I've got so many of them. Here, we'll, we can help them clear out the coal over here. There's a coal pile over here as well. Here, we'll do that. I mean, they're more, li more likely to get, like, frostbitten, but, yeah, we'll go ahead and use some, put them to work. Not that we are short on coal, although, I'm not sure if the numbers were raising the same way as before, but, again, we haven't actually set up any real coal mining yet. Why do you say 0%? Oh, is it 0% efficiency? Because No, 24 hours. I don't know. Okay, where's the pub? Is this it? Oh, it looks great! Public house! Looks warm. Mmm. That's nice. Workers, patrons. No patrons right now, but probably haven't had a chance. It's open in the evening, so it'll be after this work shift. This will fill up with patrons. Forgot about his bladder. That's true. It's a sign of a great game. I should take a break. Tell you what, let's do that. Let's all take a break. It's two minute, two hour mark. Uh, just past two hour mark. We're take a quick break. Everyone get up, stretch, go pee, get some more water. We'll come back, we're going to play this for until about 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then we'll be switching over to goofing around some multiplayer StarCraft, uh, because at that point I think we'll have had a lot of great stuff happen. So, be back in a couple. I should save as well. And I think it auto-saves, but 